It had been five long years since she had passed away, but it might as well have been yesterday to him. Each week without fail he made his way to the cemetery to visit with her. He often brought her trinkets and treats and would read or sing her her favorite songs. Christmas, however, had become his favorite time of the year to visit her. For his dearest bride, it was always her favorite time of the year, so he made sure that he followed all her favorite traditions. He would bring with him a variety of things, including all the stockings that she so loved to hang on the mantle over the fireplace. He brought a cute little Christmas tree that he would decorate with beautiful colored bulbs. Oh, how she loved the beautiful colors of Christmas ornaments and the shiny tinsel and garland that would turn her Christmas tree into a masterpiece each year. After everything was set up, he began to play her her favorite Christmas songs. He remembered how her beautiful smile would light up the room when she listened to Christmas music and decorated the house. Each year, he made sure to follow this tradition. One year, however, as he woke and began to pack up all her favorite Christmas decorations, it began to storm outside. The wind began to howl and the snow fell so fast and heavy that he couldn't see out the front window anymore. Still, he continued on and packed up all the decorations into a plastic tote. As he headed out the front door, it quickly became apparent to him that he couldn't get out of the driveway. So his eyes began to fill with tears as he thought of her waiting there for him. So he began to shovel frantically, but it was to no avail. The snow was coming quicker than he could shovel it. He finally made his way back into the house, wet and cold, unsure what to do. He took off his wet clothes and sat down, trying to catch his breath. It was only a few minutes later that he closed his eyes, only to reopen them to the sound of her voice. Honey, honey, it's okay now. You made it. I knew you would. I I don't understand. I was trying to shovel the driveway, and then I remember going into the house to rest. Is it really you? It's really me, silly. But I, I thought you were, you know... Shh. It's okay. Let's just get this house decorated. The kids will be here pretty soon. Okay, honey, I will get everything out of the car, but before I do, can I dance with you like old times? I can put on our favorite Christmas song. You know the one. Why, sure you can, honey. You know, I look forward to it every year. Thank you for loving me, for never leaving me alone. Thank you, honey, for always loving me, too. For making sure that my heart is full of beautiful memories. Now let's get this tree up and these stockings hung before you make me cry. Quickly, he put on his coat and headed out the door. I love you, she said as he walked out the door. He had not felt this happy in many years. He didn't feel no pain, no sadness, no burdens or sorrow. I must have been dreaming, he thought. That would explain all this. After getting the decorations out of the car, he quickly, with an enthusiasm he hadn't felt in a long time, headed back into the house. When he opened the door, he was staring at himself, sitting in front of the little Christmas tree, the same one that he would decorate for her each year. The house was decorated just the way she had decorated in years past. Christmas music was playing and the house was alive again with a joy and a spirit that he had long missed. But he didn't see her. It was then he realized he didn't need to. He felt her. It was as if she was standing right next to him. There he sat, smiling again, feeling so close to her, so loved and content. While he may not have made it to her resting place that Christmas, She had made it back to him. Love had weathered the storm, and together they enjoyed another Christmas together. Memories are all we have sometimes to get us through the most difficult times, to bring light when darkness tries to consume our hope. 
Love is a gift that time nor distance can ever erase, a feeling that stays with us regardless of circumstances or hardships. Yeah, love always finds a way, and this Christmas it found its way, in the form of a dance, a decorated Christmas tree, and in the tenderness of the words, I love you.